Hello there, ladies and gents. This is Miller Master on the line, and I'm going to show you how to use the auctions plugin from Vake as a server. It's actually a pretty simple to use plugin, however, many people may have difficulties at first, so that's why I'm making this little tutorial. And I apologize for any rainy thunder noises there may be in the background. So, anyways. Wow, that was hard. To start selling and buying items, you must configure your password for the auctions plugin because it uses um, a web part. So, to set your password, you must type slash wa space password space and then the password you want. In this case I will put in I like dogs. Okay, there we go. Password changed. If I ever want to change my password again, I just use the same command. So slash wa password I like cats. And there we go. Password changed. So to start selling and buying items. So some items over here. Yeah, that's my shiny chest. Enchanted items. Um, so yeah, we have to warp to the mark part. So a slash warp WA. Woo! Okay, so we're here. Um, there's a sign on the left and a sign on the right. The left sign is where you deposit items you want to sell. And the right part is where you withdraw items that you bought or, well, mailed back at you from the plugin. Okay, so in this case we want to deposit these, this set of items. So let's start with a stone axe. As you can see, it is already damaged, and this will be important. Okay, item stack stored. An enchanted item, a bow with infinity one. Stored. Cobblestone. This is stack and a half, and just some regular wool. Okay, so to get started with the plug, just open your web browser. It may be. Mozilla Firefox, Google Chrome, whatever. Just go to vacaza.net. There you go. Click the market tab. No, let me just turn off Minecraft. So. There we go. Ah, uh, much better. Okay, so you put your Minecraft username. In this case, mine is Melamaster, so I'll put Melamaster. And our previously set password. In my case, I like cats. And there we go. We're in the plugin. Vacasa Market Current Auctions. Yeah, so these are the current auctions. My name, the money I have currently, and mail, which are the items I, I mailed home. So at the beginning, this will only this will only be showing five entries so you must come here click this drop down list and select all if you want to see all the items at once and this is very useful I find it really useful okay so let's start say Miller Master over here I'm selling a bed this is Miller Master the seller um, I'm selling three beds and each for 150 rupees. This is the total if I sell the three beds. Okay, so if you want to buy, say, one bed only, you come here, you click the number, and you change it to whatever number of items you wish. In this case, it would be one. I click one and then I click buy. I'll do it, yeah. I'll click buy. Oh, I do not have enough money to buy my own stuff. 
yeah that's what happens when you don't have enough money to buy something so don't bother trying mm, let's see something cheaper yeah there we go a narrow I'm selling for eight each so I'll buy it auction purchase successfully okay so this item I purchased um, will go to the my items section this my items section will display all the items you bought and all the items you deposited so you can see here the white wool the cobblestone the enchanted bow and the stone axe as you can see the axe was damaged and it cleverly displays here um, how much it is damaged so no one will be tricked um, white wool over here and the cobblestone which I deposited 64 and then 32 both values added up so I have a batch of 96 instead of having one of 64 and one of 32 and that is really useful now let's look let's take a look at the enchanted bow it says bow brand new because it has never been used it's not damaged and the infinity one enchantment displays as arrow underscore infinite one it doesn't ex uh, display exactly what it says in Minecraft however it is easy to understand as you can see it says infinite infinity okay so if I want to send the item I just bought or well an item I accidentally deposited or something like that back home I just click mail it over there and I will you see mail one and as I go back here into Minecraft I go into the withdraw sign I right click it and I get my bow back okay <coughs> so let's see to sell an item say I wanted to sell wait let's just mail these I'm sorry get these I'll retrieved I got two arrows I'll, I'll sell all, all of them 12 arrows okay so oops sorry I'll refresh it and as you can see 12 arrows I wanna sell them so sell it here you can change the quantity 7 or 12 or whatever in this case 12 um, and the price for each item so I'll say 8 for each arrow that's a, a very good price and I click create auction so as I go back to home you will see that now I am selling those 12 arrows for 8 rupees each and there you go if I click the my auctions tab it will open all the auctions I have at the moment this means everything I'm selling if I want to cancel an auction and get the item back I will just click cancel however um, this has been temporarily left out until the next plugin update um, so if you want to cancel uh, your auctions you the thing you have to do is buy your own items so yeah what happens is you get the item uh, you spend the money but since you bought it from yourself you get your money back again so you never lose any money and you get back the items so say I cancelled something I cancelled these for example I just click mail it mail it mail it there and it mails it back to me in Minecraft I come here and poof there we go stone axe cobblestone yeah there's the other part and wool okay so imagine you sell you sold something um, you you never know if if you it doesn't tell you if you sold something it doesn't warn you uh, you can only see if you sold something if you go for example my auctions imagine 
yeah, I started with 260. Uh, I see that it's at 259. Um, so I can see that I sold one arrow. Actually, it was to myself. So, <laughs> Or something else you could check is your money. Um, so if you sold something and you didn't kill any mob or anything uh, between that, you'll see that you'll, you have more money and then, then you know that you have sold something. Okay, so after you have done everything, after you have sold your items and mailed them home or bought them and mailed them home, um, you can simply click the logout button to log out for you and it will be done. I hope I have taught you well and that you have no doubts about this plugin. Thank you.